Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how to create your first Java project using the latest version of NetBeans which is NetBeans 12.4 So the first step is to download NetBeans That's why we need to go to the navigator and to type NetBeans Now let's go to this first link Then we have to click on this button which allows us to download the latest version which is 12.4 and here I need the installer for Windows, so I will click on this link to start the download of this installer. Then I need to click on this link. And now I can save this installer on my computer, but I have already downloaded it. So I will cancel this download and I will use the installer that I have already downloaded, which is this one. But before starting the installation, it is necessary to check that we have already installed the Java GDK. That's why I will go to the command prompt and in this window I have to type the following command. And as you can see the Java GDK is installed correctly on my computer and the version that I have is 15.0.2. Now let's go to this installer and let's run it. Now let's click on next. Here we have to select this box. Then let's click on next. So I will accept this location where NetBeans will be installed. Then I will click on next. And here I will uncheck this box because I don't like that NetBeans perform updates in the background. Then let's click on install. Now, as you can see, the installation finished successfully, so I will click on finish to close this window. And also, a new shortcut is added to the desktop that allows us to start NetBeans. So let's click on this shortcut to start NetBeans. Now, in this window, I will just create a new Java project, so I will click on this button. And here, as we can see, we have three options to create a new Java project, either using Maven or Gradle or Ain't. So if you are creating a large Java project with multiple dependencies, it is better to use either Maven or Gradle because they will download the dependencies for your project. However, they require to perform uh, background downloads, which make them a little bit uh, slow. That's why if you are creating a small Java project or if you start learning Java, in this case, it is better to use Ain't because it is very fast. So let's select Java with Ain't. Also, let's select Java application. And now let's click on Next. So this window is empty because this is the first time I start NetBeans. So I need to wait a few seconds for this window to be completed. And as you can see, now I can click either on activate or download and activate. So I need to click on activate if I want only to activate Java SE. And if I want to download, to, to install additional modules, in this case, I have to click on download and activate. But in my case, I want just to activate Java SE. So I will click on activate. And this step should be done one single time when you start NetBeans for the first time. So for the next time I create another Java project, I don't need to perform this step. Here I will provide the project name, so let's call it Hello NetBeans. And also, I don't like to create the main class now. I will do it later, so let's click on Finish. Now the project has been created, but it is empty, so I will just create a new class. And I have to select Java and Java class, and to click Next. 
Then here the main class, let's call it main class. Then I will click on finish. So, so this class has been added, it is uh, empty, so I will add the main method. And in this main method, I will just print some text. So I will add system out println. So let's save this class and let's run it. And as you can see, this is the output. Now let's create a new class and let's use it to create a new frame. So I have to click on this button and to select Java and Java class, then to click next. And here let's call this class uh, main frame because I will use it to create a Java frame. Also, I want to create this class into a package. So let's provide the package name. then let's click on finish so as i said this class will be used to create a frame so i will add extends gframe but gframe has not been imported so i have to click on this icon and to say add import for this class so the error disappeared now let's add a method inside this class which allows us to create the frame Let's call this method init. And inside this method, I will just make a copy of some uh, statements that I have already prepared. So here I will provide the title of this uh, frame and the size. Also, I want this uh, application to be stopped when, once I click on the close button of the frame. And finally, I want to make this frame visible. But this class has not been imported. That's why I have an error here. To fix this error, I will click on this icon and I will add import for this class. So the error disappeared because the import has been added. So let's save this class. Of course, I cannot run it because it does not contain the main method. So if I click on run file, I will obtain this error. So to be able to use this class, I have to go to main class. And here in the main method, I have to create an object of type main frame. Let's call it my frame. And here, as, as you can see, I have an error. This is because main class and main frame do not belong to the same package. So I need to add the import for this main frame. That's why I will click on this icon and I will click on add import for this class. So the import has been added and the error disappeared. Now let's call the init method of this object. Let's save this class and let's run it. Here, as you can see, this is the created frame. It, have, it has this title. And when I click on this close button, the application will be stopped. So let's do this. As you can see, the application finished successfully. So uh, this is all for this video. I hope it is useful for you. Please subscribe to the channel.